So, hello again. And as you can see, in our streaming matchup today, we have Kratzi playing four Cartel Executioners. They're all outfitted the same. Uh, they all have Marksmanship, uh, which lets them change one hit into a crit when they have the Defender and the Bullseye Arc. Then R3 Astromag, which allows them to take two target locks, so uh, on different uh, ships. Uh, Contraband Cybernetics for those action economy. So they start at the time. So for the action economy, when you want to do those uh, red maneuvers and hull upgrade, obviously not a bad choice for those already beefy ships. And then we have Cargon. Playing a list that uh, we have seen uh, being played by Paul Heaver and by, I forgot his name, I'm really sorry, uh, but it was already also played at the uh, Corellia Galaxies Qualifier last weekend. So we have four Kashyyyk Defenders, generic Wookiees, uh, no upgrades, and Sabine Wren with intimidation so let's take a look at card uh, again let's take a look again at the card of sabine um before you activate you may perform a barrel or boost action which makes her a pretty decent blocker and then you have intimidation to have a bigger punch for those wookies so um I'm gonna do a short poll again, so what do you think? Who has got the better beef here? Uh, who's going to win? Do you think Kratzi has got the better list here in this matchup? Both seem to go for a straight joust. Or do you think Kargan is the one who will take the win here? So... They don't want to fool around. They're just going straight for the Joust. Um, so you could expect uh, a lot of dice rolling uh, pretty soon. So only one vote so far. We got a couple more people here in chat, maybe. Oh, wait a second, but as soon as they start uh, shooting, uh, I will finish that poll. Uh, today I didn't have like uh, a lot of minutes before the game started to start the stream, so we kind of rushed into the game here, but um, that means action soon, so tuning in and then don't wait too long and we got the shooting happening and the dice rolling so offensively I could be that the um, what's their name again the comp the Kimogilas that they have um, a slightly better offensive power because of Marxism shit and the, and the and the target lock that can use for more um for more targets but we will see soulfly thank you for the four month prime sub thank you very much ahoy <laughs> so the kibogilas initiative three they are um, going after the uh, Kashyyyk Defenders, which is good for them, so they will be able to take that target lock. So Sabine, I, I'm, I, what I think is a little bit curious about that list is that the highest initiative in the list is the supposedly blocker in the list um so i'm interested to see so um Kargan is going for the bank maneuver not the straight joust which is perfectly fine because uh he's got the 180 degree firing arc ok 
could imagine, um, okay, doing a faster maneuver. I mean, they, they, the fire arc, that is the benefit of those Kashyyyk defenders. Or of the Ozaturks in general. So, all ships in range for the target locks. Could imagine going for the bottom two. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Uh, it looks like they all are going to do the one forward maneuver. So, takes also the bottom two. I could imagine that yellow is going to be the target because um, I don't know if the red key Mozilla is going to have uh, the, the range for that. Okay, so that seems to be some slightly problems with those undoing maneuvers. So better saying, but Sabine can look if she must boost to block. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, you're right. This actually, in this case, it's going to be an advantage. Well, well, advantage. Maybe. But it can be, definitely, yeah. Good point. So, right now, checking. So, can lock all, but... Um, let's take a look at the tactical view here. So, I oh know, red, red should be in, uh, in arc as well. Okay, so two votes for Kretzi. I'm gonna finish the poll here. Okay, so. Um, I guess red is starting, range three. We will take a look on who. Oh, you're starting with, with brown. Yeah, basically they are all range three. Okay, so he decides to go for red. Three versus two. Uh, probably spends target lock, yeah. <laughs> Just have to look for the correct one. No, that is yellow. Yeah, that's brown. There you go. Reroll those two. That is a good reroll. Two hits and a crit. Oh, he's got the uh, marksmanship bullseye. Uh, two. And loses both shields on the red Sheik Defender. I probably would have shot with Brown last because he's got the bull's eye, so there's the better chance to get that crit through. So going like from from top Kimojila to to bottom one. So, a little odd roll here, <laughs> like a little jump of those dice, but actually not a good roll for him. That's only one crit, and got it. Good evening, Asriel. Thank you for joining our stream. Um, so is he shooting on yellow on yellow now? That would be, 
Um, confusing for me because um, why would you split your fire here if you have all all, all cables you just can shoot the same one so why would you not shoot with all your Kimojilas with all your ships on that red defender so he's got the bolts I sure but I mean Okay, that is definitely going to be at least two shields, and that is the crit even coming through. So that is good, but it's still I'm wondering, maybe there's something that I don't see here. Maybe Twitch chat knows why he split the fire up. So, damage sensor ray. Cannot perform any actions except the focus action and actions from damage cards, uh, which is a crit that you can repair. Mm, that was green. That is a good roll. He's still got the focus. So, Sabine going strong. So, um, and again, we have yellow losing shields and taking a crit which is structural damage ouch so i bet all defenders are going to shoot on that one and i think cargon is doing the right thing here focusing his fire on yellow Ah, bad roll. Only one. Yeah, any evades. So, no damage. That was lucky. Or unlucky. So, yellow on yellow. Oh, ah, close. Close, close, close. The crit. So, only taking one. Was it range three? Taking... Oh, two hits? Let's do it? I thought it was only one. Okay. So, now range two. So. Another two. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Only four? Okay, then it should be four. Spending a focus. One. So we have one, two, three, four, five cards on yellow so that means he is down to three all right okay so in my opinion the better round for Kargan because he um concentrated his fire on yellow uh got the kit crit through with the tr structural damage where the others could take advantage of um i guess it would have been better if uh, Kargan would have concentrated uh Kretzi would have concentrated his fire on red and then shooting with brown last to get that uh, marksmanship crit because of the bullseye arc. Uh, yeah, Asriel, I think so too. Quite an interesting matchup. Beef against even more beef. Um, and we might figure out which one's the better beefy list.
So Sabine in quite a good position for um, blocking Red. The defenders, they can block themselves if they wanted to. <laughs> Said BV, yeah. <laughs> The good thing is, um, if I want to take a guess, um, which is kind of my job here, uh, I'd say that green and brown are either going one forward or banking in, depending on what yellow does. Yellow, uh, Kimojila might, uh, I think, trying like a K turn here. I have to take a look at the dial again of the Kimojila. Uh, they have a 4k, which could be easily be blocked by the brown uh, Wookiee. Um, so you might just... <sighs> Thing is, uh, Sabine is in a very good position here. The already damaged um, Kimojila, number yellow, with the structural damage. Um, I mean, Intimidation won't do anything here because he... <laughs> He already lost um, all his um, agility. The other thing would be if he would be shot at range 3 obstructed. Uh, then Intimidation and Sabine wouldn't matter, but that's probably not going to be the case here. So, um, a hard one for Sabine. I would have liked that. Let me get rid of this one here. Okay. So, angry Wookiees here. Oh, very good for Cargon here. Just going fast enough so that Brown's got no shot. That is one, one attack out of the game. Uh, out of the round, I mean. Sounded hard. A <laughs> block body, yeah. So, uh, Kimojiro shooting first. Good shot here. Three naturals. Will he spend that focus? Probably not, because, yeah. No crit. He's not the damaged one. That is only head and focus, but he's got the target lock. Ah, that's the thing with only the target locks. Uh, but doesn't... Oh, yeah. Spends the focus to dodge that shot. Okay. Stunt. This 
so that's a good one. Ah, cannot take full advantage, but still two hits in a crit. That is another three. Damaged sensor ray. So down to one. So, payback time, Sabine, two hits, did she, no, he's got no mods, but still, that is two shields on the green one. Two is in a focus, spends the focus for three. So that means yellow is down. So 50 points to 21. Cargo with the lead. Okay, those 180 degree fire knock is really good. Heights Feeble Duck. Thanks for joining in. So green taking three into the hull and the crit is wounded pilot. Oh. Also a very good roll. Two hits and a crit spending that focus obviously. And <laughs> trying to to put, put the, those cards on a pile so the other crit is blinded so how much did you take now we got four so six down to two that is only one, but it's another one and should be down to one now. Body lives, body lives, and they go back to dials. Very good blocks. I expected the brown chemo to be a little bit slower. Yeah, you, got, you went like too fast over overshoot over over the red one. I mean the defenders, the the Kashyyyk defenders, they can they can go sometimes a little bit faster because they have that very broad 180 degree arc. So um, they probably will get something in their attack arc for shooting, um, even if doing some banky maneuvers and going a little bit faster, um, trying to outmaneuver maybe the Kimajilas. And yeah, that was again a very good round for Kagan.
So, ah, I just saw a naked Wookiee in the chat. Ah, this is going to be your match. Just by the name of it. Can't spend Bullseye. Uh, yes, because of, um, why is that anyway? Change one hit into a crit. Mm, what is the card that doesn't let you spend those focus in the bull's eye? I am not sure. Something Sabine has? No. Hmm. So maybe somebody can explain uh negative okay. why couldn't he spend the the focus because of the bull's eye hmm. I don't know maybe you know So for those of you checking uh, their points in the chat, for those who don't know, there's only uh, there's uh, always uh, a period of time for our viewers, which is usually something like a month. So the next period of points will end uh, around the 15th of September. And those three people who will have the highest amount of points, so uh, point leader number one, number two, and number three. Uh, they always get some 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 small prizes. Last time we had like tokens and with cards. We had a small Lego set, something like that. So and um, the monk. Thank you for your prime sub. So speaking of prime sub, if you are a subscriber of the channel, uh, you get the double amount of points for each ten minutes that you'll watch the stream. Uh, also get some extra points if you um, spend some bits or donate and uh, so you can collect some wicked points and maybe get some prizes if you're amongst the top three of that wicked point leaderboard. So, Cybernetics 4K that it was probably expected but uh, not much. Not only 1.2 extra points. Did I say that wrong? Let me check. I can check that. Or was it two times? I don't remember. I changed it once because it was way too high. So it was a little bit unfair for, for those who uh, did not subscribe to the channel. <laughs> don't tell top much. <laughs> okay, another Cybernetics 4K. Uh, no, actually, the subscriber multiplier is uh, two times. That is the least that I can uh, set the subscriber multiplier. So, two times the points. Not 1.2. And I'm talking about the wicked points, not the wicked coins that you get uh, under there where you can like uh, redeem a Chewy Roar or highlight your message or um, unlock an emote that is different from that. Yeah. So let's concentrate back on the game and <laughs> not on the wicked points, which are important. Get your wicked points if you can. So uh, the first thing where you can get your wicked points is um, just by watching, right? Um, Sabine is dran. Sie nutzt ihre Fähigkeit. Versucht. Yep, kommt rüber. So Sabine doing her boost first. Very nice. Um, so won't get any blocks, but still will get a shot. She still got an action. Uh, I mean. Sabine is the cheapest uh, piece in that squad, so 
if he can force um, Kretzi to shoot on Sabine, why not? So, Kimoji lost shooting first. Three versus three, if I if he's going no, he's shooting on uh, yellow. Makes more sense, of course. He's gotta focus, <laughs> so this this time doesn't take a luck, spends a focus, which is good. So yellow is dead. Kretzi getting some points here. So, um, yeah. Can already take yellow off the board because he got initiative killed with the Kashyyyk defenders only having initiative one. So who's going to shoot next? So green shooting on red lost his shields. Yeah, trying to get maybe some crits into hull. Uh, that is one. Does he have a focus? No, he's got. He's he's double stressed. Why is that? I didn't see why you get the double stress. I was a little bit confused. Okay, so it's got the lock. Wounded. Oh yeah, correct. Right, for doing the action. Yeah. So one on red. I think Cargan can live with that. Thanks, Beta. For clearing that wounded pilot correct so took the action with the cybernetics rolled that uh hit or whatever it is that you have to roll for getting that stress and now this is double stressed so red shooting on that is which action he has the lock on green why is he splitting his fire so much? I really don't understand. Maybe I have to write Kretzi afterwards and ask him what the deal with that is. Oh, and evades. Those, those evade when you only got one agility. That's also, oh, it's like, like the middle finger in your face. <laughs> so Sabine can shoot now, a crit. It's got a water, no, that's, yeah. <sighs> Takes it. So that means only two Kiwajilas left on the board. And Kargan only lost one. Kashyyyk defenders, the other ones are in pretty much in a good shape so far. Hit crit, ah, spending the focus. And red, taking the crit. Uh, another wounded pilot, okay. So many cards in the board that I have to scroll up. That's a Wookiee leaning out the window, flipping you the finger. Yeah, correct. I mean, better than breaking your arm. But it does not look like there's some like arm pulling happening here. Uh, because it looks like the Wookiees are about to win. So that phrase, let the Wookiee win, seems to apply here. But, I mean, we got 40 minutes left um, left to play, but at this moment it's not looking 
very good for Kretzi here and his cartel executioners. It's only if he's losing. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Which, like I said, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I mean, like I said before, um, we have seen this list uh, played by Paul Heaver and some other players. And um, right, let's take a look while we're waiting for the players here for the next round. I'm going to take a look at... Um, List Fortress. So... Yeah, Michael Grape, that was the name of the player who played this list. Uh, for Kashyyyk Defenders and Sabine with Intimidation at the Galaxis Qualifier. Placed uh, 23rd in the Swiss and went to top 8 cut with that list. So. Yeah, like I said, we know it's a, a strong list. And um, I think it's also quite comfortable to pick up if you're not experienced with the list. Like Kargan here. Kargan again. Um, he said, okay, if you need somebody playing on stream, I'm down for that. You got any wishes? Do you want me something to play? Um... And I took a look at those uh, lists at uh, List Fortress from the Galaxy's Qualifier because there were some very interesting lists in there. And I said, hey, why don't you play the Chic Defenders and Sabine? And I also said, like, probably is not that hard to play um, for getting into it. I mean, of course, you can make mistakes with that list, but there are not like synergies triggers something that you uh, might forget very often so i think it's a good go-to list if you are um playing a tournament for six rounds and doesn't want to mess up your brain too much or like in this case you need a list to play on stream and you never have played it before the kashik defenders and sabine are um I guess a very forgiving list, if you want to phrase it like that. So, ah, oh, very good with the maneuvering here. Uh, last round, the boost that fitted nicely over the um, over the Wookie, then doing the maneuver. Now, uh, doing the exact same thing. Uh, might not get a shot, but um, at least gets the action with Sabine. So we got a shot there, hit, hit, crit. That is nice roll. So, bullseye. So that is two crits. Kagan, friendly reminder there. That is nice. I mean, we've got a fly casual match here, so. Uh, so getting. Crit, crit, damaged engine. So, and fueling. So, one, two, three, four on green. One, two, three, four. And he's got wound. No, what, what were the crits? Uh, fuel leak and damaged engine. Damaged engine is oh, not good for defenders. So, uh, Blendon, I see your message. I'm going to tell you something about that. I, 
uh, just want to wait until the shooting is over. So that was brown shooting, I guess, onto green. Yeah. So brown Kimojila shooting on green Kashyyyk. Oh, that's a good roll for the target lock. Two hits and a crit. Only one. So it takes hit, crit, and he's down. Fulik, also an extra one. So, waiting for Sabine. She's got a shot. Oh, oh, yeah. No. Does she have a shot? Oh, looks like it. Ooh. That is nice. Didn't see that one. How oh, about only for one? I mean, better than nothing, right? Oh, he evades it. Okay. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Not a good roll, just one. Uh, but that one goes through at least. So, on brown. Oh! Hit into crits! Natties! Nothing to evade, so taking hit, crit, crit. So. Fulik went wounded. So first was the Fulik, then the wounded. Oh, and a di directed. Oh my god. Ah, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. So. So three now this turn and four before that. So barely holding on to just one hull point left for red here. So next round, it looks like Kretzi has to um, be ready to face the round after that. The whole list of Kargan, which is left uh, out of two Kshik defenders and Sabine. I mean, they're still... They can happen a lot still, but um, Cardinal Executioner Brown is going to be a lonely one. So, Blenden 101, first of all, thank you very much for watching our stream from South Africa. Um, is it possible to stream at a different quality setting, uh, like 360, 480, 270 p? Um, usually, are you, there? not there like a, a small, how do you call it? Um, Help me chat. What is uh, Zahnrad? Like a gear uh, at the screen where you can set the stream quality to 720 or 480. So let me check. I'm going to check on Twitch. I'm going to check my own stream. Uh, going to take a look how that appears here so there's that small gear quality oh you can only only automatically and what 1080p 60 okay blendon um uh for the next stream on um on thursday so we always got stream it's like uh, solid stream times at uh, 7 p.m. CET, which probably is the same like um, South Africa, I think. There's no time difference. Um, so on Thursday, I'm gonna take a look if I can do that. Should be able to. I'm, I'm, I'm confused that it's not possible, to be honest. You're the first one to ask that, though, so... Probably that's the reason why um, I never took notice of that. 
So, so while streaming, I cannot, uh, I cannot change that, unfortunately. So I would have to, I would have, uh, I would have to stop the stream. So, but I will look into that, definitely, because I can't imagine that you're not the only one who maybe has this problem, or if it's somebody like. On the train and somebody w where he has only got like Wi-Fi or doesn't want to use too much of his uh, da data that he has on his on his mobile phone and still watching the stream, he wants to lower the quality. So yeah, I'm gonna look into that. So now, um, red shooting on. He has the possibility to shoot on brown or brown uh, red probably shooting on brown because you can shoot with both on them so hit crit yeah he spends the focus right yeah dodges it now brown. Brown on brown action here going on. So does not have a focus. Seems like he's shooting on Sabine. Um, Sabine's got nothing to modify her defense dice, or uh, takes nothing out of that shot. Sabine's got one, and evades that. Uh, there, there is a good. A good situation where you can see the usage of that 180 degree arc. So taking two. Yeah, taking two. On to red. I mean, he's down to one, isn't he? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Seven, eight. Okay. I miss. I miscounted that. So. So, but red is down, right? Should be. Yeah, okay. Got a little bit confused here. Watch your game with Timu and Will the other night, but would like to watch your channel some more. Oh, that's that's nice to hear. Appreciate that. And I hope you will watch again. And I promise you all will look into that. There uh, probably is some sort of tweak in the settings where I can make sure that you can watch it on the other. Uh, Quality settings as well. So winning options here are not looking good for Kretzi. He's got like expected only brown left. I mean, he's almost full on health. But needs. So one Kashyyyk defender is not enough. He needs either two and even 
Oh yeah, or or one and Sabine. And not losing half on his own Kimojila. Crits here. No mods. Only taking one and prone, even as shields left, so. If the damage output will continue like this, Crits is gonna have a hard time. So the Wookiee's gotta focus. Two hits. So a little fast with the roll, so taking those two. Hit crit. All right, intimidation. Crit is disabled power regulator, which will affect last turn because Ron Kimajila already engaged. So, but another half point. So, Kargan lead in 175 to 84 now. Ooh. Okay, um, Blendin, maybe interesting for you to know. I just looked up the thing with the quality settings. Um, so I, as, as a streamer, because I'm just a Twitch affiliate and I am not a partner, I cannot, there's no way for me to um, let the viewers decide which quality setting you can choose. That is a thing. It seems like this happens randomly depending on server or whatever. And depending on the traffic so maybe because Hexalt and GSP have more traffic like more viewers in general they get the um, opportunity so the viewers have the opportunity to um, choose the quality settings and my stream does not which is which sounds it's really really odd and unfair because of course I want to stream in the best quality option that I can 
offer, but for the viewers, it should be uh, possible to, to choose that. Ooh. So, totally missed that shooting phase here. Uh, so, we got damaged engine and another one. So, one, two, three. Four. Okay. So down to two. So, excuse me, sir. Is that a Wookie on your windshield? Gnawing through the hull to rip your arms off. Yeah. Those Wookies are mean. Okay, this time was a good choice to go not too fast because I don't think brown Kashyyyk defender is going to have a shot. Sabine so is bumping again, which is good, at least for Kargon. So Kashyyyk defender red now with the chance to end this game in favor for Kargon. Yes, that is the game. So, Cartel Executioner with absolutely no chance here to dodge anything. Um, good game, Kargan here. He wins 200 points to 84.